Okay, so first of all, I have to uh, I have to confess and apologise for the roughness of this code. It wasn't functionalised. I was just something I, I hacked together while I had um, ten minutes. Uh, a viewer emailed me, and they were they'd seen the video where I count the number of distinct letters, and what they wanted to know was, could you do the same, but to count the most common letters in the uh, in a sentence? So. What I thought I thought about this is a, a few ways of doing it, but I was, I was trying to do this as, as simplistically as possible. So I'm declaring some variables. This total here is going to be my counter. Um, this integer most will 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 be the one that's the most common. It's an integer which we'll talk about in a bit. I've got an array here of my letters, and I've got 26 elements because that's going to represent the letters A to Z. For the purpose of this program, I've just dealt with capital letters. Um, I've got a counter and then this odd value which we're going to look at later. So here's my sentence. I've got A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, Z, 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 A. So Z is obviously the most common. And if I run it, it tells me that the most common letter is Z. And you can see from my array here where I am counting uh, the letters, not 25 being A to Z, and I'm counting each one. So let's see how it works. My 0 25 counter here is just going through the alphabet. Ord 65. Now 65 is um, the ASCII value for capital A. So I go through each letter, and I and I populate the the array with zeros. So I've got something in the array. So if I put a breakpoint in here and run that bit, you'll see it's populated up to zero. In this next section, if I put a breakpoint in here, in this next section, you'll see that what I'm doing is I'm going through that list of letters in my sentence, and I'm checking each one, but I'm taking, I'm turning it, um, how can I explain this, I'm turning its ASCII value back into a, Oh, it's character back into ASCII value and taking away 65. So if I'm at, so if I'm at, let's say, A, um, A is 65, so 65 minus 65 is 0, and then when we look in our, our list of variables, our, our array letters array, 0 will be where I store the value, how many A's there are, so I'm adding 1 to it. So if I do B, B would be 66, so 66 minus 65 for the capital A leaves me with 1, so my array would have a, a 1 in position for B. So let's just um, run that bit through so you can see. So if I take this breakpoint out, leave that one in, and run that, you can see I've got three A's, uh, four Z's, two B's, two C's, two D's. So this final part here, this is just working out which one is the most common. So I'm going to cut, I need to get the number back, so obviously I've got the zero here, and I know that there are 425, so I loop through this array, find out which is the most, the largest one, store it in my variable called most, but I add 65 to it. So why do I add 65 to the position? Well, if I add 65 to the position, it will give me the ASCII value. So if I'm at position 0 and add 65 to it, I've got A. If I'm at position 25 and add 65 to it, I've got the ASCII value for Z. It will then just spit that out. So let's just step through this little bit so we can see what's happening. So it starts the counter. It sets, it looks for the first one. Is it bigger than the counter? Well, yes, it will because the counter is zero and the first one's three. So it sets it up. And if we look in our most, we can see 65 is in there, which is the A because it was the first character we've been looking for. We look for B, well, there's less of those, less of those. We keep going all the way through. So just keep an eye on that counter 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and so on. 23, 24, so 25 comes in, 
okay we now got a, a new value here because we've got obviously four in this one okay so it's added 65 to the 25 to give us 90 which is the capital Z so by total finishes my loop and outputs the character of that number so this is the ASCII value 90 turn it into a letter um, and display it there you go so the most common letter in that sentence was Z so if you wanted to do this for upper and lowercase letters obviously you would need to deal with both the upper and lowercase ASCII values but there should be enough here to tell you how to find out the most common letter in a sentence so I'll leave that on the screen if you want a copy of the code it will be uploaded to my website boring.co.uk and you'll be able to have a have a look at it in more detail hope that helps